three years in the making, 32 of MTA's baddest monster trucks go head to head side by side racing. There can only be one champion at Monster Mania 3. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the biggest show that MTA puts on all year long. Welcome to Monster Mania 3. And folks, we have got a star-studded lineup for you fans right here tonight. 32 of MTA's baddest monster trucks all go head-to-head -head for the Monster Mania 3 Championship. All your favorite trucks are here. Max D, Gravedigger, Brodozer, Bigfoot, Megalodon, and more. And the teams are getting riled up, and so are the independent drivers. Because we are getting set to kick off round one action here at Monster Mania 3. And I hope you guys are ready for a long night of racing. Overkill now. Cameron Tweedy behind the wheel. The Ford stays at the line. He is now set to take on the icon, Joshua Wells in the Gravedigger at a Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. He won the Livewire event last month. He wants to put the Gravedigger in the winner's circle here tonight. New kid on the block, Cameron Tweedy and Overkill, ready to knock him off early. Overkill and Gravedigger down the stretch, up and over the old man's line here, and Cameron Tweedy upsets the Gravedigger in round one. The rookie upsets the veteran here to kick off Monster Mania 3. What a turn of events, the first race in round one. And next up, Zach Jurge in the Titan Chevrolet. He draws up against Joey Andrews, representing K&J Motorsports and the Black staying forward over in the far lane. Zach Jurge has been known to be a strong competitor on the MTA circuit. Here's the green light, Ford and Chevrolet down the straight stretch. They're even through no man's land, and it's all Joey Andrews as he tries to shut it down before getting into the wall. Zach Jurge is on the trailer with Titan. Black Stallion moves on. Next up in round one, Aaron Church representing Sky High Racing in Bakugan Dragonoid. He is now set to take on Jessica Cook stays in the far lane. The beautiful 1941 Willys is ready to rock and roll here at Monster Mania 3. We haven't seen Aaron Church since the Livewire event last month. He's had some downtime, a little R&D on Dragonoid. Here's the green light now. They're even down the stretch, up and over the first jump here, and it's close. What a close race. Right there as Cook tries to shut it down before getting into the Gravedigger. Let's go back here and check out the MTA photo finish. Both trucks coming across the line. Your winner, Jessica Cook and Little Miss Dangerous. We'll see her back in round two. Next up, Bradley Graham bringing out the Volkswagen bus. That's Fluffy debuting right here tonight. He is now ready to take on Jason Cook and the Samson Chevrolet staged over here in the near lane. Fluffy now again making its debut at Monster Mania 3. The first of three Outlaw Motorsports trucks to race here tonight. Who's going to the second round? There's a the green light. Fluffy and Samson down the stretch. Fluffy's got a lead. Look out. Graham's in trouble. Flipped it over. Coming across the finish line. What about a debut for the Fluffy machine. And Cook got all out of shape in the near lane as well. Watch back here at the MTA replay. Fluffy immediately got Samson off the line. Samson knew he had his hands full. Flying high through no man's lane. Watch Samson in the near lane. He gets out of shape in the far lane. Bradley Graham's going freestyling, but nonetheless gets the win right here in round one. And next up in round one, Michael Anderson, the rookie sensation that has been taking Thursday Night Thunder by storm. He is bringing El Toro Loco to the line, but he draws up against Peanut in maximum destruction. Now, the last race you just saw Bradley Graham in, well, that's his old Max D completely restored, re-debuting tonight at Monster Mania 3. Max D and El Toro Loco now down the straight stretch. Peanut's got a lead on him. Oh, look out, Michael Anderson upside down into the containers there at the end of the track. It was such a close race. Peanut was hanging right there with him. Anderson knew he had his hands full. Your winner looking at the photo finish. It's going to be El Toro Loco by inches. Next up in round one, Colton Hotchkiss now bringing back Mohawk Warrior representing Diggers Diecast Race Team, who we haven't seen out here in quite some time. However, he draws up against none other than your boy Shaggy, Matt Cheever and Grave Digger, the legend. He's looking to get his first big win out here tonight at Monster Mania 3. There's the green light, Mohawk Warrior, Grave Digger, the legend, even through no man's land, and it's gonna be, oh my word, I don't know who it's gonna be, 
an incredibly close race for Matt Cheever in the legend and Colton Hotchkiss in the Mohawk Warrior. Going back to take a look at the photo finish. And it's going to be your boy Shaggy and Grave Digger the Legend. Now next up in round one action, the Taurus Chevrolet out of Granite City, Illinois. Logan Waller behind the wheel. Now set to take on the 2020 Halloween Madness champion, Jerry Walmack Jr. in Equalizer. And ladies and gentlemen, you talk about an old school race right here in round one. Equalizer takes on Taurus. As we go green now down the straight stretch, Tor starting to pull Equalizer coming back and what a race they get into each other in the shutdown area. Equalizer drifted over into Taurus's lane. What a close race it was. Equalizer does pick up the win over Taurus. Now next up in round one, Chad legit, too legit, hasn't been running too hot on Thursday Night Thunder all March season. He is one of few front engine trucks out here on the circuit tonight. He's looking to put Tropical Thunder in the round two. Cole Harrowwood and the Vet King Chevrolet staged over here in the near lane, ready to knock off the longtime veteran. Tropical Thunder and Vet King now down the straight stretch. Vet King got him off the line up and over no man's land. An easy work for Cole Harrowwood as he bumps into Gravedigger and Titan there in the shutdown area. Chad Legit is on the trailer with Tropical Thunder. Next up in round one, Chris Baluk in the BKT machine representing Michigander Motorsports, a new team coming out here to the MTA circuit. He is now set to take on James Valencourt in the brand new Liquidator Ford stage over there in the far lane. He's representing his own team as well, the K&J race team. Here's the green light Liquidator and BKT off the line. Up, up and over no man's land and Liquidator's looking bad fast. He bumps into the wall there in the shutdown area. He had foot hung in that brand new truck. Liquidator is coming back for round two. What a great debut for a brand new truck. Next up in round one action, the wild man, Ryan Johnson and Brodozer, or should I say last year's Monster Mania 2 champion. He knocked off Gene Patterson and Snakebite in the final round, formerly driving Taz. Now this year he's in the Brodozer machine and we've all seen what he can do. Richard Nelson the second and Megalodon in the near lane representing Diggers Diecast. They're off the line, they're even through no man's land here and it's wild man, Ryan Johnson. Keeping up his Monster Mania win streak. Nonetheless, in the Pro Dozer, we'll see him back in round two action. Now next up in round one, Billy Barber driving the Thunder Chicken Chevrolet S10. Now set to take on Outlaw Motorsports' very own Jalen Buford in the USA 1 Chevrolet. He took home the Superior Survivor event last year in that very truck. He wants to add another championship to his resume, but he's got to knock off Thunder Chicken. Two Chevrolets now down the straight stretch. Battle of the boat tied through no man's land, and look out. Billy Barber doing a slight wheel stand across that last set of cars. Buford gets the win in USA 1. Next up here in round one action, downtown Mitch Brown bringing Bigfoot to the line. He is representing Outlaw Motorsports as well. Now set to take on a former driver for Outlaw Motorsports, Ethan Medlin and Max D. Ice staged over there in the far lane. He would want nothing more than to upset his old team rival here in round one. Mitch Brown ain't gonna cut him any slack. Bigfoot and Max D. Ice now down the straight stretch, slightly to Bigfoot through no man's land. And Mitch Brown and Bigfoot gets the win over Max D. Ice, giving a little hello to Thunder Chicken and Gravedigger in the shutdown area. Next up in round one action, Fifi Kavis in the snake bite machine, now set to take on old time veteran John Guts in the King Crunch Chevrolet. Old John Guts has been on the MTA circuit many times before. Glad to see him back in the King Crunch Chevrolet. What's Fifi got for him in the snake bite forward over in the far lane? As we go green now down the straight stretch, King Crunch got him off the line. Fifi's got his hand full, but came back on him. Came back on King Crunch in the end. The snake bite forward moves on to round two. Next up in round one, Brian Prezak in the Monster Patrol Chevrolet representing Outlaw Motorsports. He's been rocking and rolling on Thursday Night Thunder, getting his new truck dialed in. However, as you just saw in the far lane, Corey Marvin in Northern Nightmare, he's representing No Fear Racing, now set to take on Monster Patrol. Who takes it to round two? No Fear Racing taking on Outlaw Motorsports through the straight stretch through No Man's Land and Northern Nightmare's upside down. Monster Patrol loses the wing. What an incredible race. I'm not even sure who got the win from up here in the booth. It was that close, ladies and gentlemen. What an incredible race. 
and looking at the carnage here, the wing comes off a monster patrol there at the shutdown area. They are rolling Northern Nightmare back over, snapped off the left front tire. What an incredible race by both drivers. Their teams have to be super happy. Going back to take a look at the photo finish, your winner is going to be Brian Prezak and Monster Patrol by inches. What an incredible race it was there. Next up here in round one, Mike Council in the Captain's Curse 41 Willies now set to take on an unusual ride for Greg Durbin, but he is in the Iron Warrior Ford staged over here in the near lane. He's been having a heck of a season on Thursday Night Thunder in backdraft. Two-time finalist these past couple of weeks. He's looking to knock off Captain's Curse in round one here down the straight stretch. Durbin's got a lead on him. Can he hold on to it? Captain's Curse is upside down. Greg Durbin and Iron Warrior move on to round two action. Captain's Curse is upside down. Came out of no man's land. Hit the van stack. Watch right here. They're flying high up and over no man's land. Bam! Captain's Curse right into the van stack. Flip the truck over. Track crew and officials are down there now. He is outside of the truck waving to the crowd. Unfortunate luck for the Captain's Curse team right here tonight. Now next up to close out round one action. Carson Wells and the Devastator Chevrolet now takes on his own teammate from No Fear Racing. That is 11-time Thursday Night Thunder champion Rich Wagner and the Wild Hair Chevrolet and the 2020 Independent Showdown champion. He wants one more title to his resume. Two Chevrolets, two teammates going down the stretch now. Through no man's land and we got a race to the finish line. Wagner trying to shut it down. What a race it was. Carson Wells was giving Wagner a run for his money there. As we go back to take a look at the photo finish, your winner's going to be Rich Wagner by about half a tire. Wild Hair moves on to round two action. And folks, we hope you enjoyed Monster Mania 3 thus far. I want to take you back to earlier tonight watching Michael Anderson and El Toro Loco take on Maximum Destruction. Got all the way to the shutdown area. Hits the C container right here and rolled the truck over. Those guys are down there. They are thrashing in the pits, trying to get El Toro Loco ready for round two. And taking a look in the pit area now, you can see they've bent a sway bar on the El Toro Loco. It shouldn't be a problem. They're going to do a little bit of adjustment and get the truck back to the start line for round two competition. Nonetheless, a great run there for Michael Anderson as we kick off round two action at Monster Mania 3. Up first is going to be Cameron Tweedy in Overkill. Now set to take on Joey Andrews in the Black Stein Ford out of Hagerstown, Maryland, representing K&J Motorsports. He's been doing pretty good in that brand new ride. Valencourt has him hooked up with a great piece of equipment. What's he got for Overkill here in round two? Here's the green light. Two Fords down the straight stretch. Hits the first jump, and they got a good race. Oh, my word, Overkill. Turns it over. Cameron Tweedy is upside down over the last set of cars. And Joey Andrews and Black Stein get the win. Moving on to round three. And next up, Jessica Cook in the 1941 Willys Little Miss Dangerous. Now set to take on Bradley Graham in his brand new ride representing Outlaw Motorsports. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fluffy in the near lane. Who moves on to round three competition here at Monster Mania? Here's the green light now, Fluffy and Little Miss Dangerous. Fluffy's got a lead on her through no man's land and look out, Bradley Graham upside down for the second time tonight. Little Miss Dangerous gets the win over Fluffy here in round two. Unfortunate luck for Bradley Graham and the brand new Fluffy machine. Let's go back and take another look at the replay. You see him coming down the straight stretch. Fluffy has a pretty good lead on Little Miss Dangerous. Right here flying high through no man's land, gets out of shape. Hits the middle jump there in the center of the track, and that was all she wrote for Fluffy. Next up in round two, Michael Anderson back in the El Toro Loco machine. The crew thrashed on it, got him all set up, ready to run here in round two competition. But his opponent, Matt Cheever, Grave Digger the Legend, staged in the far lane. He wants this win bad here tonight. What's he got for El Toro Loco and the rookie Michael Anderson? Here's the green light now. Grave Digger El Toro Loco even through no man's land here. We got a race. What an incredible race. Both of them making smooth, bad, fast passes all the way to the finish line. And we are going to go down to a photo finish to determine a winner. And it's going to be Matt Cheever and Grave Digger the Legend moving on to round three. Next up in round two, however, Equalizer, that's Jerry Walmack Jr. at the starting line once again. He knocked off Taurus in round one by merely inches. Cole Harrowwood over here in the near lane had a smooth pass in the Vet King Chevrolet, making easy work of Tropical Thunder last round. 
Who's going to take it to round three competition? Stage, there's their green light now. Ford and Chevrolet down the straight stretch. Equalizers hold the lead out on them. And Walmart Jr. gets the win. Vet King gives them a little love tap there in the end. Nonetheless, Equalizer moves on. Next up in round two, wild man Ryan Johnson now set to take on longtime rival James Valencourt in Liquidator. That is the brand new Liquidator, by the way, in the far lane. Ryan Johnson staged in the near lane. These two met last week on Thursday Night Thunder, and Johnson got the better of them. You can believe Liquidator wants to make a statement. Here's the green light. Two old-time veterans down the stretch. Through no end land, and James Valencourt gets the upper hand. He knocks off the current Monster Mania champion. Liquidator moves on to round three. Wildman's going home with the Brodozer. And next up in round two competition, two teammates are about to go head-to-head. Jalen Buford, USA 1, now set to take on Mitch Brown and Bigfoot. Both trucks representing their own teams respectively. However, when push comes to shove out here on the track, it's anybody's ball game. Who's taking it to round three competition for Outlaw Motorsports? USA 1 takes on Bigfoot. Here's their green light forward to Chevrolet down the stretch. they even through no man's land and USA 1 grabbing the win over downtown Mitch Brown and Bigfoot. Jalen Buford will move on to round three competition in USA 1. And next up here in round two, Fifi bringing back the snake bite forward out of Pacific, Missouri. Now set to take on the Monster Patrol Chevrolet out of Portage, Indiana. Brian Prazak representing Outlaw Motorsports. We just watched two of his teammates go head to head. There you see the wing missing off Monster Patrol. We hope it doesn't affect the truck too much here in round two. Here's a green light snake bite. Monster Patrol are even. Monster Patrol had a slight lead but gets in trouble. And Fifi and Snake Bite knock off the Chevrolet here in round two. What a save there by Brian Prazak coming across the last set of cars. And Snake Bite gets the win. Next up as we close out round two action. Greg Durbin bringing back the Iron Warrior Ford who caught a break there in round one. However, he did lay down a smooth pass over Captain's Curse. He's set to take on 11-time Thunder champion Rich Wagner in Wild Hair representing No Fear Racing. Who moves on to round three here at Monster Mania 3? Here's the green light now. Iron Warrior in Wild Hair down the straight stretch. Wagner's got his hands full into the wall and rolls it over there. Coming across the finish line, Wagner had nothing to do but to get into the brake pedal tapped the wall, and rolled the truck over. Let's take another look at the replay. You see both trucks are even down the stretch. Watch right here through No Man's Land. Some big time error by Wagner. Gets a little kicked off sideways on that last set of cars. There you see he gets the win over Iron Warrior. Watch right here. He skids the truck sideways, ran out of room, taps into the wall. He had no choice but to lay it over on its side. And ladies and gentlemen, that'll wrap up round two racing here at Monster Mania 3. We've got more racing to come, and we still got to crown the Monster Mania 3 champion. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after a break. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. <laughs> Back here now at Monster Mania 3, we are getting set and ready to go for round three competition. And up first, Jessica Cook bringing Little Miss Dangerous back to the start line. Now set to take on K&J Racing's very own Joey Andrews and the Black Stallion Ford out of Hagerstown, Maryland. He's been looking strong in Black Stallion all night. 
but so is Jessica Cook and Little Miss Dangerous. Only one is moving on to the semifinal competition. Who's it gonna be? Black Stallion, Little Miss Dangerous. There's the green light now, even down the stretch. Stallion pulled a lead on her and oh, look out, Andrews upside down. And Cook is down there in the Thunder Chicken in the shutdown area. Joey Andrews had so much speed, he hit the container and flipped the truck over. Hopefully it's not hurt too bad so we can come back for semis. And next up in round three competition, Matt Cheever and Gravedigger, the legend, has been rocking and rolling all night long. He wants this win bad. However, over here in the near lane, Jerry Walmack Jr. has been running strong in equalizer all night as well. One of these drivers is moving to semifinal competition. The legend, Equalizer. There's a the green light. Equalizer's got a lead on him. Cheever trying to come back. It does. Gets the win over Equalizer here in round three. And it looked like Equalizer lost his momentum there through no man's land. And Cheever is the winner in the legend. Next up here in round three, Jalen Buford representing Outlaw Motorsports bringing the USA One Chevrolet back to the line. He's taking on James Court in the liquidator for the brand new ride from K&J Motorsports. This time, the truck was built at the MTA Arena, and it looks like Valencourt is driving the wheels off of it right here tonight. Ford and Chevrolet here. There's a green light now. Valencourt got him off the line. Buford coming back in USA 1. Look out, gets a little out of shape. USA 1 may have just put the brakes on with Liquidator here in round three competition. Let's go back and take a look at the MTA replay. Both trucks were so close coming down the straight stretch. Look at it right here. Valencourt jumped him off the line. Buford plants the big bad bow tie horsepower up through no man's land. Gets a little out of shape coming across the cars there. And USA 1 picks up the win over Liquidator. And now as we get set to close out round three competition, Fifi, who's been running strong in Snakebite, the Ford out of Pacific, Missouri, now set to take on 11-time Thunder champion, Rich Wagner in wild hair. He's representing No Fear Racing, as I've said to you many times tonight. He's looking for that second big championship right here to add to his resume. Wild hair and snake fighting now to close out round three. Rich Wagner and wild hair flying high. Gets the win over the Ford and snake bite. Gives a quick hello to Thunder Chicken in the shutdown area. Fifi had nothing for the 11 time champion. And now we're jumping right into semifinal competition. We started with 32 trucks. We are now down to four. Matt Cheever and Grave Digger the Legend is now set to take on Joey Andrews in the Black Stain Ford representing K&J Motorsports. He turned the truck over in the last round, couldn't get it shut down in time, and hit the seat container. You gotta wonder, is Black Stain at 100%? We're about to find out who's going to the finals. Here's their green light, now they're even down the straight stretch. Cheever wants this win bad. Andrews is upside down. He lost it there, coming out of no man's land. Black Stallion turns the truck over. Matt Cheever and Grave Digger the Legend are in the finals. And folks, we're about to find out who meets the legend in the finals. Rich Wagner in the Wild Hair Chevrolet. Jalen Buford in the USA One Chevrolet. Outlaw Motorsports takes on No Fear Racing. Who meets the legend in the finals? Wild Hair or USA One? Both drivers want this win bad. Their teams are cheering them on. Here's the green light now, USA 1 and Wild Hair. USA 1's got a lead on him. Wagner's got his hands full. What a race across the finish line. Wagner was hanging right with USA 1 and vice versa. But what an incredible race to close out semis. Two wicked fast Chevrolets going down the track. What an incredible race. Here it is, your winner, Jalen Buford and USA 1. What an incredible race. But ladies and gentlemen, then there were two. Matt Cheever and Gravedigger the legend in this first ever Monster Mania Finals. He is now set to take on Jalen Buford in the USA 1 Chevrolet representing Outlaw Motorsports. This is the championship that drivers compete for all year long. If there was ever a championship to put on the shelf, it's the Monster Mania Championship. Jalen Buford, former Superior Survivor Champion, wants another title for the resume. Matt Cheever wants his first big win. Who's going to take it home? USA 1 versus the legend. It's showtime at Monster Mania. Down the stretch, they're even through no man's land. And what a race across the finish line. Both drivers letting it all hang out. Who wanted it more? What an unbelievable race to close out Monster Mania 3. We aren't sure who got the win as we go back to the MTA replay. You see, Legend looks like he got him off the line. But Jalen Buford and USA 1 making a comeback on him. Watch right here through No Man's Land. Both trucks are straight and even through the finish line. 
Looks like USA One have gotten the win. We have confirmed it in the booth. Ladies and gentlemen, from Outlaw Motorsports, your Monster Mania 3 champion. Congratulations to Jalen Buford in the USA One Chevrolet. You are the Monster Mania 3 champion. And ladies and gentlemen, what an incredible night of racing. I thank you all for coming out to Monster Mania 3. And I thank you for your continued support of Monster Truck Attitude right here on YouTube. Be sure, if you haven't already, crush that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys down the road. See you next time! Standing tall up in victory lane, I done brought the pain and now they're screaming my name, yeah! Everybody saw me rock the place, now there's flash bulbs are popping and mics in my face, in my face. Always giving the crowd what they need, now they're wearing my shirts, front row to nosebleed. Yeah. Now the crowd forms, is what it's all about, signing autographs until the lights out, uh, yeah! It's about that, it's about that, it's been a long time. Uh, it's about that time, it's about that, cause it's about that, it's been a long time. Uh,